Well, there is some news coming out of Hollywood about actress Lena Dunham. And over the weekend, as we all heard, former First Lady Nancy Reagan passed away. Stephanie Dunlap takes a look back at her life. Hey, Heather and Tina, one of the most influential first ladies in U.S. history has passed away. Former First Lady Nancy Reagan died at the age of 94 on Sunday morning at her home in Los Angeles. The cause of death was congestive heart failure. Just like her husband, Ronald Reagan, she was a Hollywood actor who went by the stage name Nancy Davis. She has acted in films such as The Dark Wave, Hellcats of the Navy, and The Next Voice You Hear. Reagan will be laid to rest next to her husband in Summy Valley, California. And this morning on Good Morning America, the host of this year's Emmys has been announced, and that is Jimmy Kimmel. This will be the second First time President that Kimmel Lady hosts the award show. This morning, Kimmel tweeted, quote, I am hosting the Emmys on Sunday, September 18th. Until then, have a great summer, end quote. And actress Lena Dunham, who you know as the creator and star of HBO's Girls, has been hospitalized for a ruptured ovarian cyst. The actress suffers from endometriosis, a female reproductive disease. Dunham will be undergoing surgery, and we wish her the best. The fifth season of Girls premiered on HBO on February 21st. And it's been a big year for Taylor Swift, as always, and on May 1st, she could take home six awards in one night. The nominees for this year's Radio Disney Music Awards are out, and Taylor Swift is topping the charts. Her nominations include Best Female Artist and Song of the Year. Justin Bieber comes close behind with four nominations. And tonight is the night. It's the Bachelor's Women Tell All. The house villain Olivia will return and tell her side of things. And we will find out how the last eliminated contestant, Kayla, is handling things. Plus, there's rumors spreading that Kayla will be the next Bachelorette. Hmm, that would be very interesting. We'll have to find out more tonight. You can watch The Bachelorette 7 here on ABC. Back to you guys.